This is Kimmy Wyatt and welcome to another Blue Cup in the Attic or The Blue Cup in the Attic, T-B-C-I-T-A. Um, I told you guys over the course of uh, being spied on or whatever, not over the course, but over the, uh, you know, this top. <laughs> it's a cute little top. Maybe I'm just, maybe it's just me. But I told you guys I would be posting, giving you guys tips on the blue cup in the attic and for those of you who do not know you should by now i was spied on in, in the last apartment that i lived in and i'm spied on right here okay proof in the pudding so uh i don't count people's money i hate people that count people's money and what i mean by that is when you are how did they get that they how did they don't have a job? How you know? Or maybe maybe you can determine if they don't have a job, they shouldn't do this, which is what I'm going to talk about. But you know, you know, count people's money, what they have, how did they get it? Um, this, this, that, and the other. And hold on, I'm going to turn the light on in here so you guys can see me better. Just one second. Okay, that's a little better. Better. Um, so I don't count people's money, as I was saying. If, 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 if you got it going on, you got it going on. If you got a new vehicle or something like that, you know, uh, good for you. No haterade whatsoever. But when I know you don't have a freaking job and you all booed up and your girl, yo, yo, whatever you want to call them, do not have a job. And yet you got new vehicles in the parking lot. See, this is the same thing they were doing over there. And the whole time here, most of the time I would say, hey, they y'all getting cheated. Why come you guys are not getting the vehicles like they were getting? Well, my um, guy friend and I were having a discussion just on yesterday about whose truck this is in the parking lot. And I don't care if they hear me. And I said, at some point, as a matter of fact, Sunday, I think it was I, because I, I live, on, live on the first floor and I keep my blinds open all the time. I thought, OK, maybe there's a camera in the front because it's parked right in front of my window and they can look right in. Could still be now that I know who it is. So today when I got up, I saw my neighbor up here go to this truck and I'm like, dude, you don't have a job. But one of the spies. You don't have a job and your girl, whatever she is, does not have a job. How is it that you have a truck? Not only does this guy have a truck, Dodge, this guy have a Dodge truck, I mean, up above my head. And they got them at the same time. What does that tell you? You guys start looking out for little clues and stuff, Was you know, because that's what they were doing over there. They all got carred up and vehicled up over there. This is how they get compensated for doing whatever they're doing, you know, spying and all that. They get compensated with a vehicle and uh, then somebody must have finally listened because now they have them. Here are the facts. Neither one of you has has a job. Now, although this one is supposed to be doing something with 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 helping people work out or something, I don't know. It's still not enough compensation for you to get a truck. Number two, your girls do not have a job. And if you get a check, come on, first of all. You guys are gone at the same time, ironically, but they, this is, this is the deal. They pretend like they don't know each other, but see where she messed up is when they, they were getting ready to leave and they couldn't leave until he came, but I was getting ready to leave myself. You see, I observe everything. So she's on her phone, I guess, texting him or whatever to ask him, where is he? Because they had to leave. Okay. So. You guys, be careful and look out for little things. If you see people that are broken in a joke, they got new vehicles, but then they're going around pretending like they don't know each other. That's the same thing they were doing over there, you know, and this is what they tell them. Don't talk to each other. Don't say anything. But you stupid asses went and got the same kind of truck at the same time. Really? You gone at the same time all night. Really? And this is not all the time that they're gone at the same time. I observe everything because the same thing that there does happen. What they don't realize, I'm true to this, not new to it. So this is a tip. When you see people that you know cannot afford to get a truck or a vehicle, yet they have a, and I'm, when I say new, I'm not talking about like a, a 2018 or whatever, something like that. I'm just saying newer, newer than what they had, you know, the vehicle they had. Um, when you see that kind of activity going on, yet they don't work, they don't have a job, no one in the in the apartment has a job. Come on, you guys. Really? Okay. 
And I have already come to the conclusion that this is also inclusive of drugs. There are, I've seen people getting drugs dropped off over here more than once. You know, they have just come over and, and <laughs> you know, and I have a soup for the soul called Satan blesses too. Perfect example. Perfect example. While you sitting on your knees praying and asking God, you know, this for this, this, that, and the other, here comes someone who definitely does not deserve a blessing and they get, and they get a blessing. And I, I even went as far as to, um, I, I may have in that one to describe that word blessing. Blessing is just like faith. Although those are spiritual terms, they're all throughout the Bible. Satan blesses too. It's just a word. If you, if you acquire something and for whatever reason, good or bad, you got a blessing. You know, if you, if you don't believe in God or whatever, yet you started a business and it's lucrative, you got it because you have faith, you know? So look out for these things, you guys. Um, and, and some of the things that some of you sadly would just let go over your head. I live here with you, partner. I know your story. I know your MO. How the hell do you guys have the same type of vehicles? Two trucks, Dodges, different colors at the same time. But y'all walk around here like y'all don't know each other. Income tax, where the money come from? So they try to purchase these vehicles around income tax time or whatever. Come on. So this is Kimmy Wyatt. Um, you guys just open your eyes, broaden your horizons on different things to look out for. Um, because this is real and is why I will not stop until I hear the judge put that gavel on the podium. Okay. You are not going to watch me. Oh, she's up. She's up. <laughs> so you're not going to watch me and get away with it. And if you were a smart person, which let me pause on that one. If you were a smart person, you would have stopped watching this one a long time ago. So, like I said, Satan blesses too. There you go. Perfect example. And he will. He'll bless those. But but as you guys know, in the, in the end, come on, you can't take nothing with you. And, 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 and the sad part about it, you, if you're a good person in this life or a bad person, you can't take anything with you. But what you won't be able to do is save your soul. So if I have to choose good and lose everything when I die, then that's that's the route I'm going to take because I can save my soul when I make that decision. Bye. Hasta la vista. Buenas horas. Buenas noches. Arriba del G. Abre fua. Salida. Don't let the doorknob hit you where the good Lord split you. Chao, Bela. Chao, Belo. Bye. I think.